I seem to really be done with 988. It's been all screwed up. In a way, I feel like I'm responsible for losing path. Because I wanted things straightened out. I think the restrictions, when it's going to cause somebody to be more suicidal, when it became traumatizing to the client, me, I wanted things changed. I wanted people to understand me, the problems I grew up with and had to deal with, and I still to this day can't. Like a personality is automatic for suicide when I feel rejected. There's no one there to comfort me. That's why God wants me to be married. Jake, that's why he wants you to be in my life. Cornerstone sucks. 20 minutes is all I get. I hung up on a lady told me there's no way anybody talks for an hour. And I used to be able to. I don't want to call knowing that I'm not going to get any of you to talk to. And Cole, you was so great for helping me. Nobody's ever tried like you did. Maybe you understand the psyche part of the life of a human being more than most of them. What I liked about Jake is he has not intuition, he has um, empathy, empath. He's more of an empath. Say one word and he can answer your feelings and your thoughts. And Now all I know to do is blog. And I still want to be the Vice President of the United States. And I can't seem to get understand. Trump to understand. And I guess I don't pray enough. Don't believe enough. My car's broke down and I have no money and I don't know how to get it. And I don't have anybody to ask if they loan me a car. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck alone in my house. My ceiling and my porch fell last night with the rain and nobody put the tarp on top. Sorry, I always cry a lot. You see, my teeth are embarrassing. This is embarrassing, even though I'm losing all that weight. This should be gone. Can't go to the doctors because they just want to push pills down me. I mean, I'm taking stuff for over the counter for blood sugar. Try to get the zombies off my colon. My please, Jake. Cole. Any of you that watch my blog, I think it'll be alright for you to call me 217 Are you not dark enough? What else to do? 
Night counselor hardly is ever there when she's supposed to be. Makes appointments and then don't answer the phone. Why did I work so hard for Trump? When I believe in God and believe he wanted what he wanted and I wanted to keep working on it. Only for him to make me the vice president and then take it away. Now he wants me to be an advisor and I don't even know if you make money being an advisor. It was a program he cr he's created for me. I don't have to be on this earth. Why do I have to live like this? It's thousands of dollars for it to fix the car. <laughs> don't even have money to... Actually, there's no transportation. There's no one who'll take me to the laundromat. I've got a warranty program. I just paid the first payment and somehow I gotta figure out how to do a claim on so I can get a washer and dryer and a stove and take the carpet out and put linoleum in and my stomach hurts. When I go to the bathroom I got blood coming out and Oh, remember me getting on my hands and knees basically saying, help me. Because there isn't any. Today there is no help. There is no 988. Cornerstone nothing. It's a bunch of bullshit. My, I got to go to town, go to the grocery store, so I took a cart and walked down to Circle K so I could get my soda and say hi to Carrie, and the manager from the store come, you can't take that cart, you can't keep it here, it costs $200, it's too expensive, and I just needed something to hang on to, and I didn't want my groceries to be stolen, and the Transportation won't take me because they aren't allowed to take you to the convenience store to get soda. Stupid rules, stupid insurances. I like to do without all the insurance company, and we all have to take care of one another. I don't know what to do. My rabbit food got wet. I put it in a ice box, and it opens up in the middle. And where it opened up, it got soaking wet, and that spoils the, the rabbit food. And a lady paid it for me, paid for it for me. And then my jingle thing over here keeps, but. I just want you to know I miss every single one of you on path. Tim, but, um, Malcolm, Lambert, by, um, Dean, and, um, I'm trying to say Biden. I don't know why it's on my head. Just hear from Trump 50 times a day. And I complain I don't have family. And he says, make it his family. It's not. It's not the kind of family I need. He's got money and I can use a new car or just fix the one I got. My birthday's coming up, people. I'd like to have a new puppy. Nobody buys me. Birthday presents. Hardly any. I don't think I get anything for Christmas either. Not even to be able to be invited to my family. Nobody cares.
Jake, I do miss you. And I miss Alex. Alex and Alex and Dean and Noah. He's been gone. Liam's been gone since I started. My brain is foggy this morning. And then there's Tim and I'm sorry if I can't remember your names today, but y'all mean a lot to me. Cole, of course. And y'all mean a lot. Sage and the Luna. Mi really miss you. I keep hoping when I call the 800 number, Illinois, that I get one of you, maybe some from the South, but I doubt it. I just can't call 988 anymore. I have to deal without it. And yes, I've been suicidal. And yes, I did try to kill myself many years ago. And the question you never get to answer because it's not there is Bigfoot's always been there for me. He probably was my guardian from the day I was created. No, I've never been in the army. I'm just a big army of God. Is all this pain going to help me at the end? To start the beginning? Jake. If anybody could help me, call, it would be you to call me. You and Cole. You know, when one of you used to answer the phone, I was so elated because I got to talk to somebody I knew. Especially that you're a guy. This is devastating for me. And I wonder if Illinois, because I mentioned I didn't say who it was, is going to be the vice president. Tattled on me or something. I worry because of the mental state I'm in. And I won't be able to do anything worth anything. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm worth anything to... <laughs> at all. It's not worth it. My hope has been shot down. My dreams are gone. Why does God allow things like this? For somebody that spent their whole life for God. For giving up my house for God. Giving up my show dogs for God. Giving up everything that was important to me for God. Only to find that there's nothing there. To receive a blessing from Him at all. People will say, well, yeah, you get to go to heaven. Do you know? Sorry. Heaven is so small. I saw it with my eyes. So, do anybody get to stay in heaven, or do we just keep being recycled? I'm an angel of God and 
should have stayed, stayed in heaven. I just loved the earth and it was so beautiful. And it was, people were destroying it. We teens give them a gift and they use it for their own. And I think I was the angel, the Indian that met the Indians to teach them how to care for the earth. Or I wouldn't be here. Unknown caller. Sorry.